Hello there, this is the Bookkeeper Master on YouTube. Welcome to another QuickBooks Online training video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use tags on QuickBooks Online, the basics of tags, what they are, how to use them, etc. If you haven't seen my other videos on using classes, projects, locations, please watch them. They'll be on my YouTube channel. They're also on my website, freebookkeepingaccounting.com. They're all for free. The reason I mention that is a lot of people that use tags would actually be better off using classes, locations, or projects, usually classes. So please go ahead and watch them. All these features are very similar. Locations, classes, projects, tags, they're all very similar but tags is more limited and it's really about categorizing transactions rather than tracking costs and sales so tags is usually about recording or grouping together organizing transactions keeping an eye on certain transactions rather than looking at profit and loss or costs for projects that sort of thing so if there are transactions that are very important to you that are perhaps more sensitive than others you can tag them and that way you can generate a report to see all the transactions that have been allocated to that tag the tag that you have created and are following now the first thing you need to do is go to the gear cog icon at the top right go to account and settings and turn tags on so we have a sales tag so we go to sales in the left hand sidebar here and then here somewhere on this page for me it's just here we have tags make sure it's switched on same with it same with the expenses if we go to expenses bills and expenses we have uh, show items table and expense and purchases that's not show tags here we go show tags field on expense and purchase forms so make sure that's on if they are not ticked on if they are off then tags is not going to be available when you go to record a transaction it's really easy if you know how to record sales expenses record invoices raise invoices and using tags is easy if you don't know how to do those things then i suggest you go and do my basics course which is all for free and is also on youtube so if we click on invoice here you would fill in the invoice just like you normally would so this is the invoice template for the customer. You'd fill in the details, whatever you're going to put in. Perhaps they bought five at £15 each. Before we save and close, there is this tags box here. Now to add tags, we simply click on manage tags. You can create tags. You can also categorize your tags into groups. Now I have a sales rep group and I have two tags under that group Jim and Tracy it could be that you're going to tag locations for example so it could be that we create a group that's going to be uh, perhaps store locations I'm just kind of making this up as we go along and then we can add tags to that group so it could be that we're going to add say our London store and it could be that we're going to add our Paris store. If I now click done, we have two groups here. We have our sales reps, we have our store locations. This is just a tag without a group. If you just want to do that, click on create tag. Name the tag. You don't have to assign it to a group. You do you can though if you if you want to. Click save. Now I have two tags here that are not assigned to a group, and we have two groups here with these tags. On the drop down list okay so let's say this is for London so we select our London tag we save the invoice the invoice is recorded just as it usually is nothing's changed apart from that transaction has been tagged with a London tag that we selected it's the same with sales receipts if you do sales receipts there is this tag box here expenses is the same if you Record expenses on QuickBooks Online. You would fill in the template and click Save. There is this tab box that you fill out. So it's only this single box that you need to do, which is extra. So let's do... This is my website, by the way. Loads of free content on there. Not just QuickBooks, but other software. 
you can learn bookkeeping, accounting. So this is a bill. Once again, we have this tag box. So once you have tagged transactions, you can go to the tag page and go to the gear cog icon up here, click on tags. This takes you to the tag screen. Alternatively, you can go to banking and go to the tag section here. So here we go, we can run a report and see everything allocated to the tags that I have created. There are a couple of reports, but they are very limited. If we go to reports and type in tag, there's a couple of reports here that we can run by tag group. So that is it. That's the basics of tags. I hope this has helped. As mentioned at the beginning of the video, I don't know many people actually use the tag feature apart from just tracking um, a certain category of transactions. It could be that the, the categories is enough. You know, you, can, you could create a, a category for something specific and then just assign it that category. You don't have to use tags. But watch my other videos because classes is a very good feature on QuickBooks Online. So is projects they might be the features you're looking for rather than tags. But it could be that tags is exactly what you need. This video has taught you how to use them. Please like, please subscribe, please watch more of my videos. Check out my website, freebookkeepingaccounting.com.